very small number of people are going to benefit and everyone else in Georgia has to pay the costs. And it's it's wrong. I think it's shameful. A new Georgia law increases the weight of the load truck drivers can haul in Georgia. That new weight limit is now 88,000 pounds. Doing this activity is absolutely imperative for us. One, for the protection of our infrastructure as it relates to uh, increased loading in trucks. Uh, but also the receipt of federal aid funding. But the State Department of Transportation says more than 700 of the state's bridges won't be able to carry the extra weight. That's a large number of bridges that are going to be further compromised by the severe degradation caused by large trucks. Zach Cahillen is the executive director of the Truck Safety Coalition and says the number of bridges that are not cut out to carry the weight is alarming. It's extremely ill-advised. Uh, I don't think... Any policymaker can craft a compelling argument that this is in the public interest. Even before the higher weight limit, transportation officials said over 1,300 of Georgia's nearly 15,000 bridges could not safely withstand maximum weights. Our county commissioners were against this bill when it was being considered in the legislature for the very obvious reason that we have a lot of older roads here uh, in rural areas. But says once they get the go-ahead from GDOT, Catoosa County is ready to start putting more of these weight limit signs up, like the one already in place here on Yates. Spring Road. Well, right now, we're not aware of any risk to our specific bridges because we have not gotten word from the GDOT inspectors to say this bridge passes or this bridge does not pass. So until we get that guidance, we really don't know. Now, we reached out to GDOT for a full list of these incapable bridges. We are still waiting on the list for the local ones that fall into that category. GDOT says by August 3rd, they will notify all local governments of what bridges need new warning signs.